Hey everybody, it's LJ back at Rusdero Nissan. I got a quick tip for you guys coming up from Jared, part of our team, so I'll let him take over from now. So there you go. Hey everybody, uh, hi again. Jared Bronco, Finance Director here at Rusdero Nissan. Uh, I want to talk to you a little bit today about some of the things to be aware of and consider when buying your next vehicle. Uh, financial wellness and stability is really a big big uh, struggle in our, in our lives these days with all the inflation and other things going on around us costs are continuously going up and that has really been very very true here in the, in the auto industry uh, vehicle costs are up uh, buying a new car or a used car we all know that repair costs are up about 35 percent over the last couple years and unfortunately these are things that we don't see receding in terms of their values anytime soon that being said when you're buying your next vehicle it's very important to have a good conversation with your business manager who's going to be processing your transaction there's three main things that we want to talk about today, especially when relating to financing a vehicle. First and foremost would be vehicle service contracts. They're there to basically mitigate the cost of ownership during the duration of your ownership. Uh, most of us will look at terms uh, that would include the, the time that we're financing it, so we don't have to worry about uh, having additional burdens in terms of financial responsibilities for our cars uh, while we're making our payments, uh, and that's where the service contracts come in. A good way to look at it, it's like health insurance for your vehicle. You know, when we go to the doctor, uh, you may have a copay you pay, but you usually give the doctor your laundry list of issues that are bugging you. It's really the same thing here with your service contract. Anytime you come in, you want to talk to the people who are doing the work in the vehicle for you. Let them know you got the coverage. That way, they can take full advantage of making sure you're getting the best uh, coverage out of your out of your policy. Uh, with that, the nice thing is, is it's generally a limited deductible. You're going to pay, at worst case, typically $100. We have programs that are disappearing deductibles at our facility, so you can make sure you have a no out-of-pocket cost experience. Uh, and then those policies are there to cover you know, everything outside the normal maintenance items. So typically things that are not included would be your rubber components, your, your brake pads, rotors, light bulbs, you know, typical stuff that you should expect to pay out-of-pocket for as a maintenance item. That being said, more importantly, it does cover all the technical stuff. And as we all know, these cars are as much computer as they are machine now. And that's something we gotta be very, very conscious of. And as the industry will tell you, uh, the banking side of things, the number one reason people will default on a car loan is the fact that they had a major repair bill that they couldn't overcome. Mm -hmm. Now, that being said, gap insurance is the next topic that everyone should be well aware of. There's a situation that's called a deficiency balance that results from a total loss. And generally what happens here, uh, as many of my customers uh, experience, unfortunately, there's an accident situation or a theft. Uh, the car gets totaled out, and now the bank is telling you you still owe them money after the insurance has made their payment. At the end of the day, you're always responsible for that deficiency balance. And what gap insurance will do is cover that deficiency balance, cover your insurance deductible as well, so that you can walk away free and clear. All right. The reason that's very important is if you have an open auto loan already, uh, the banks are very unlikely to give you a second or a third auto loan, right? Unless you're married and can provide reasons that you would need multiple cars. So gap insurance is there to help you in those situations. And then, of course, we're always here, too, to walk you through that process and help assist in the filing of those claims and, and working on the process of getting you the next vehicle. So those are the big two there. Third, though, I really just always want to emphasize it's very important to do whatever you can to pay that car off as fast as you can. And there's various programs out there. Uh, for example, we partner with a company called Equity for You, and what they'll do is help make it a little easier to budget that car payment into your finances and split it up. So whether you get paid weekly, bi-weekly, semi-monthly, they got programs there. And what they'll do is they'll split it up, match it to your pay schedule. But more importantly is what they're going to do throughout the course of the repayment of your loan, they're going to help you pay that car off faster. It's a great benefit. So you're getting budgeting help, you're getting the ability to pay off the car faster, and typically we're going to shave anywhere from three to eight months off the loan, depending on what your loan terms are. And then they also give you a little extra flexibility there too. You can round those payments up to even numbers. You can do lump sum one-time debits uh, to help get you further ahead. Now, not only is that going to help you pay off the car earlier, giving you a, a term reduction, you're also going to experience a reduction in interest paid and an acceleration of the building of your equity in the vehicle. Now, why is that important? When you come to trade in the vehicle, we already, we already know, we all like the new shiny thing, but it's very difficult for us to roll negative equity into the new transaction, especially when we're trying to accomplish maintaining your budget. So having that improved equity will lead to a better transaction. It's like having a couple thousand extra down at that time when you go to trade that car in. So 
Next time you're buying your next vehicle, make sure you talk with me or one of our associates here about those programs and we'll be able to give you a little more detail on how that all fits into your terms and we'll be able to make sure that it's affordable for you as well. Appreciate you taking the time to sit with us today and we look forward to seeing you for your next purchase. All right. Take care, you guys. Peace.